Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about the tracking radar, how the tracking radar operates and what are the advantages of tracking radar. So let's begin with the topic. <music> this video tutorial we are going to talk about the following points and the points are principle of operation of tracking position sampling of target then non nyquist based position sampling and nyquist based position sampling radar is basically used for detecting and locating the position of the object the tracking radar system operates by measuring the coordinates of the target and provides the data in order to find the position or location of the target we can also use that data for detecting or for predicting the future position of the target. The data can be in the form of range, it can be in the form of angular velocity, it can be in the form of azimuth angle or it can be an elevation angle or even the Doppler shift. So we can say that we can detect the future position or we can detect the future path of the object on the basis of range on the basis in terms of angular velocity in terms of azimuth angle in terms of elevation angle or we can say we can also determine or we can predict the future path of that our target by taking combination of parameter so in case of tracking radar the tracking radar required to first find the target before start tracking it therefore in some of the radar it first uses a search mode and after finding the target it start switching into the tracking mode in case of tracking mode radar, the tracking takes place continuously. Therefore, we can also say the tracking radar are also called as continuous tracking radar or continuous mode radar. In case of tracking radar, the path or the location of the target is scanned continuously so that the user can get the information about the position or actual location of the target. Now, let's move to the figure so that we can have a basic idea or clear concept about the tracking radar. Now here, in order to track the target, it is very much important that the target must be tracked at the Nyquist position sampling. Now from the figure, we will come to know that the circle represents the Nyquist position sampling and the other term represents the non-Nyquist position sampling. So if we sample the signal at the Nyquist rate, then we can have a continuous tracking of the object. And if we have the non-Nyquist position sampling, then we do not have the continuous tracking of the target. So in this way, the tracking radar operates. The tracking radar provides information or it, tag, or it tracks one or more than one target irrespective of what other content present in the space. So in this way the tracking radar operates. So in case of tracking radar first we require to find the target and then after finding out the target the radar enters into the switching or tracking mode. Now let's move on to the MCQs. The first question is the basic difference between the continuous track and step track is and the options are continuous scanning, stepwise scanning, conical scanning, phase scanning. So we can say the continuous scanning is the basic difference between the continuous tracking and step tracking. The second question is radar tracking can be implemented in and the options are range, angular information, Doppler frequency. So we can use the various parameter for continuous tracking which includes range, it includes Doppler frequency shift, it includes the azimuth angle, it includes the elevation angle. So here we can say the answer A is considered as the right answer. So this is what about the introduction to tracking radar which used to measure the coordinates of the target so that we can determine the tracking path of the target and we can use the same information in order to detect or in order to predict the future path of the target. So I hope you understand this topic of introduction to tracking radar. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira.